Hello and welcome to Buffalo Trace Distillery and welcome to Spring Cocktails with the Trace. My name is Emily Doss. I am the distillery events assistant here and today we are in the Elmer T. Lee Clubhouse. We've got some great things lined up today. We are going to be having a special guest joining us to make two different cocktails. Very spring-like, we've got some uh, fresh herbs, some fresh fruits, it's going to be wonderful. And of course, we want you to participate at home with us. So, you can follow along the recipes at buffalotracedistillery.com slash events. And then we want you to post pictures of your cocktails at home on Instagram and Facebook, tagging at Buffalo Trace Distillery with the hashtag Cocktails with the Trace. So let's get started. I'm going to introduce to you my special guest, Oliver Griffin, who is the Assistant Beverage Manager at Keeneland Hospitality. Hi, Oliver. How are you? I'm great. Thanks We're for so having happy me. happy you're here. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. to be here. Glad to be here. So again, like Emily said, my name is Oliver Griffin, one of the Assistant Beverage Manager for Keeneland Hospitality at Keeneland Race Course in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I've been there about two years now. Um, I started in the special events department and worked my way into the beverage department full time. And so I'm glad to be here and make some cocktails today. Yeah, so it's very exciting. If you want, let's just get on into it. Let's do it. All right, okay. all right. So we're going to start with our bourbon smash. Uh, this is a concept we like to do for a lot of weddings, corporate events, charity auctions, things like that. Uh, it's really simple, easy to make, kind of hands on with your guests, makes a great display as you can see. Uh, so without further ado, we'll just jump right into it. So I'm going to start by getting, we have some 8 ounce mason jars here. We'll get uh, amazing Buffalo Trace bourbon, and I'm not just saying that, I love this stuff. So we'll start with an ounce and a quarter, right down in the jar. Right. Now we're going to grab some fresh fruit preserves. Today we've chosen raspberry to do for this cocktail. So just about a tablespoon or a nice spoonful, drop it right in the glass. Two of those. All right, and these preserves you can find at um, any grocery store or if you go to a farmer's market, things like that. A lot of times you can find really local stuff, which is what we like to use out at Keeneland a lot. Really utilize Kentucky Proud, you know. Uh, so after that, we're gonna do uh, some lemonade in here. So we do two parts bourbon, uh, or one part bourbon, excuse me, two parts lemonade. So we'll do about two and a half ounces of lemonade in these glasses here. Go back and forth here. All right. And then the herbs that we've chosen for this particular recipe is mint. So I've got some mint over here. What I like to do is actually break some of it up and put it right down in the glass first. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then it's as simple as icing down, shaking, and garnish. So get some ice over here. Ooh, I can already smell it. Yeah. The mint's coming out. Exactly. You eat and drink with your eyes as well as your nose and everything oh, else. Yeah. So it's all about the visual, the smell, the taste. It all comes together and make a great cocktail. So now that we've iced down here, we're going to go ahead and put our mason jar lids on here. And this is the fun part about this cocktail is they're great to just... Shake it no up. No shaker needed. In the just give them a nice mix That's there. You perfect. see that beautiful color come out there? Oh, yeah. No carbonation in here, so it shouldn't, you know, foam over on anybody there. Take that off. Oh, yeah. So perfect. Oh, yeah. And we've got a nice lemon and raspberry garnish here. And some fresh mint to go down in there. Oh, that's beautiful. And look, look at, at those. that. Aren't That's those beautiful? So perfect. So bright and colorful too. Oh, and give one you that. Thing. Perfect. And we can just cheers try it to out. that. Okay. Drip that in there. Perfect. Let's try it. Oh, that's so good. Come on. I mean, that's it's delicious. It's so fresh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the color is just perfect. A beautiful, fresh spring cocktail for sure. Yeah. 
I absolutely love it. And you can switch up the combination of what yeah, you're doing here. Yeah, so like as you can see here, I've got, you know, blackberries, raspberries, um, oranges. Over here we've got, you know, strawberry preserves, mm. orange marmalade, black raspberry, blackberry. So really, like I said, you guys can find this locally and customize it to you and your guests and what they would like and mm. what they would prefer. So that's why we love this concept out there because it's fun, makes for a great display, and, you know, it, it, it's really a, uh, a statement, uh, a statement piece and yeah. brings people over to the bar and they see it, they smell it. It's the whole, the whole thing makes it great. So Absolutely. It's like a never ending cocktail because of all the combinations you could yeah. whip up there. Again, Perfect. Cheers. Yeah, Delicious. I love Delicious. that. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, right. I might just keep sipping on this. Please do. Enjoy. Well, Enjoy. you lead us into our next cocktail. What is, what is our next cocktail, by the way? So the next cocktail we're going to make is a play on a uh, salty dog. Uh, so it's a sparkling salty dog. Uh, you might have seen that be a gin cocktail or a vodka cocktail. You can really interchange that. Uh, for this one here, we're going to do uh, Wheatley Vodka, uh, which is, again, fantastic product that they make out here at Buffalo Trace. We use it at Keeneland all the time. Uh, so for this, all we're going to do is we're going to grab our Collins glasses here. And we're going to start by doing a grapefruit citrus salt rim. Uh, the way you can make this at home is you're going to take regular kosher salt and you take a grapefruit or really any citrus that you would prefer and just zest that right over top. Then we take a rolling pin, just roll it together so all those essential oils really mm -hmm. combine with that salt and kind of create a flavor to it and just let it dry. Simple as that and it's good to go. So I'm gonna start by taking just a, any sort of citrus and you can kind of just run this on the outside of the glass. I like to do a half rim. That kind of gives the uh, guests the option whether they wanna take a sip with or without the salt there. Oh, very cool. So we'll just go right around there. Got it just one good to right go. sticks right to it. Sticks right to it. Perfect. And we'll do the other one here. All right. Now that those are good to go, we're going to take some uh, fresh lime juice and our Wheatley vodka, shake those together to really break down that citrus so it's not too tart and doesn't come across too aggressive. So I'll put a little ice in my glass or my shaker tin here. Maybe. And this is just already pressed lime juice here. You guys, if you have a fruit press at home, you can make it yourselves. I went ahead and pre-made some up just for ease of use here today. So we're gonna do a half ounce per. Right, and then we will grab our Wheatley vodka. Get this in here. One. Poor Spout's having a little trouble today. That's okay. It's all going in the same cup. Right, it's going right. to be made here shortly. We're good. All right. So now that we've got that, like I said, we just want to give this a nice, good shake. Very good. That's the best sound, too. That ice. Like rain on an old tin roof, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. So then we're just going to evenly distribute this between our two glasses here. All right. Delicious. All right. Set that That's over great. here. And a little more ice in the glass here. We're going to go ahead and fill this all the way up with ice here. Now that that's set, Perfect. we've got some uh, sparkling pink grapefruit juice here that we're going to use, and it's just a top on this cocktail. So we're just going to finish it off. You see that sparkling come oh, yeah. out there? Just adds a little brightness, a little freshness to the cocktail, makes it really light, refreshing, great for summer, great for spring. And for garnish here, we've made up a couple of our lime bow ties. Uh, How cute. These are an awesome garnish. We use these in our buffalo bow tie, which is a signature cocktail that we have out at uh, Keeneland. One of my personal favorites out there. Next time you're at the track, please grab one. You'll really enjoy it. 
And after that, we've also brought along a couple of, uh, we've got some edible flower garnishes here. And these really just, it's just an extra flair to show your guests. You know, really, again, this is all about the experience. You eat with your eyes, mouth, nose, everything. All your senses come together to make this a great cocktail. So we'll just drop these in here. Emily chose a nice awesome. purple flower for yes. hers. Right in there. Look how pretty. And there you go. And the bow tie, how precious I is know. that? How about that? That is so cute. Yeah. You can actually just use it as a little stir stick too okay. as well. Let's give her a taste. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. So light, so refreshing, yes. easy to drink. Love that. Great for a spring or summer day, like I said. One of my one of my favorites that we've got here. So mm. these are absolutely de delicious. Yeah. And like you said, they're very springy, they're very light, they've got great colors, great freshness, you know, herbs and fruits. It's just perfect to bring out at any spring, you know, event that you have going on, or yeah. even if you're just sitting on your back porch and listening to the rain on the tin roof. Absolutely. Come down. So Absolutely. These are just wonderful. So Thank you so much for showing us Absolutely, these cocktails. They're delicious. And thank you so much for joining us at home. We hope you followed along. And of course, we want you to share those photos again with us on Instagram and Facebook, tagging at Buffalo Trace Distillery with the hashtag Cocktails with the Trace. So don't forget to post those. We will be announcing a winner of a prize from our wonderful gift shop here at the distillery on Monday, April 19th. So thank you so much for joining us. You know, cheers, we hope you guys. have a wonderful weekend. We're going to take a cheers and drink to the mm. weekend here. We'll see you at Keenly, guys.